Shiba, we still haven't talked about the most interesting part of all for robots. How they think, how I think, the software. Oh yes, you're right. So, the brain part of a robot is called software. But in order for a robot to think, a person like you or me needs to write that software, which means basically tell the robot what to think. Sometimes this is really simple, like giving the robot instructions for how to do a specific task. But sometimes it's much more complicated and interesting because you can give a robot instructions for how to make decisions. This is like teaching the robot how to think, and it's a very interesting field of computer engineering called machine learning. But today, we are going to look at how to tell a robot what to think and how to do one specific task. Computer engineers do this by writing a computer program or software for the robot. A computer program is just a set of instructions that tells a robot the steps needed to do a specific task or what actions to take in response to a specific input. Let's try an example. Trish, our young scientist and future programmer, is going to help us. Hi, Trish. Hi. Your task is to write a computer program to instruct me to drink this glass of water. Okay, no problem, I think. Hmm. Miss Shiba, pick up that glass of water and drink it. Trish, when not yet programmed, a robot doesn't know what a glass is. They don't know what water is, and they don't know what the action words pick or drink mean unless you tell them. Try again and try to make the instructions so simple so everything is well defined. Hmm, okay. This isn't so easy. You can do it, Trish. In programming, I usually think to myself that everything needs to happen step by step. Imagine you were going to drink that glass of water. What is every single step you would take? Hmm. Let's see. Okay, Miss Shiba, walk to the table. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Okay, I can do this. Let's try again. Miss Shiba, walk forward three steps and then stop. One, two, three. Hmm. Okay, stick your left arm out in front of you. You're getting it, Shiba. Lower your hand to the table and hold on to the glass. Then lift the glass up and bring the glass to your face. <laughs> Miss Shiba, I'm so sorry I got you so wet. No worries, Trish. I've made bigger messes with robots before. Computer programming is a skill you learn by practicing over and over and over and not being afraid of a few messes. Think you're so close to success. Do you want to try this one more time? Okay, I can do this. Miss Shiba, go forward three steps until you reach the table and then stop. One, two, three. Stick your left arm out in front of you. Now slowly lower your hand to the table. Rotate your arm so your palm faces the side of the glass. Move your arm to the right slowly until the palm touches the side of the glass. Okay, now wrap your fingers around the side of the glass. And now, Tighten your fingers around the glass and slowly lift the glass up while keeping the glass level, not tipping to one side or the other until your hand is as high as your mouth. Now, Miss Shiba, bring your hand to your mouth until the edge of the glass is at your lips. 
Now tilt the glass slowly until water pours from the glass into your mouth. Yay! Trish, you did it! Those instructions were simple enough and clear enough to be a computer program that tells a robot how to do a specific task. One last cool fact about computer programming is that different robots use different languages which are called programming codes. Each computer code is like a different language that people speak. Really good computer engineers know lots of different codes so they know how to program lots of different kinds of robots. I never knew robots spoke different languages like people do. That's amazing. You're welcome, Trish. I can't wait to see the computer programs you are going to make. <laughs>